it means a lot to Norse. It means a lot for all our employees, uh, our explorers. We are the Explorers Airline, and uh, now being uh, the first Norwegian civilian aircraft ever going to uh, uh, the Antarctica is a really big uh, acknowledgement of our competence and uh, also the spirit in th that's in the company. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that I'm very lucky. I, I'm going to experience something that very few people are actually allowed to experience and, and, and that makes me very grateful. But I'm also very proud to be together with such a group of people uh, that is flying the aircraft today, not only for the, the, the company and its employees, but also for the manufacturer Boeing who have expressed uh, a, a, a great sense of uh, uh, excitement about the mission. So my name is uh, Olaf Lindström. I am a 787 captain and the fleet chief pilot of uh, North Atlantic. With me, I have a very, very experienced crew. Landing with me next to me on landing is um, Captain Mattia Fracasso. I have with me uh, Captain um, uh, Chetel Riesan. We also have First Officer uh, Alexander Helge. But at some point, you go from doing spreadsheets and doing paper studies, desktop exercises, to actually doing physical things uh, like in person, uh, in a classroom, or at the aircraft. So we, um, we started with, um, in October already, we wanted to make sure that the staff down in, uh, in Antarctica at Troll Station are able to handle this aircraft. So we invited them all to Oslo, and we had them in the classroom, we took them out for an aircraft visit, and um, they, um, are now all trained to handle this aircraft when it comes to offloading the cargo and to assist us in an emergency situation when it comes to fire rescue and such. Then um, we also had to train the crew. We're flying to a part of the world which is, is ice cold, literally, and um, we had to do survival training. So we had everyone in Oslo with uh, a, a survival expert from the military that took us through the, the, the gear that we bring with us, the emergency gear, and how to survive in these climates. Also, I'm the, the head of the International Training Detachment focused on cold weather operation, but also a winter survival specialist. Asked to come and support this operation by knowledge of survival in the cold. Well, first, uh, understanding the human body in the cold environment. If you don't understand, you don't know what to do, do for the prevention. And the big one is prevent all the actions that can occur. Stay warm, stay dry, eat a lot of food, understand how to treat it to get cold, cold weather injuries, hypothermia, and just to treat the injuries. For the pilots, we've been to the simulator, we practice these approaches, we practice some uh, unusual maneuvers that could happen. As I said before, the, in general, we try to do everything as normal as possible, which means that our flight computer is programmed with a procedure and um, we got the shards that look just like shards into uh, GFK or, or LAX. So there's been quite a lot of procedures uh, that we've developed as well that we wanted to make sure that we got first time practice with in the simulator.
Air Contact is an air broker firm, uh, the oldest in the world actually, and uh, by far the biggest in the Nor Nordic region. Our involvement uh, in uh, the mission to the Troll Station and Antarctic region uh, started in 2007 uh, with the flight for uh, Norwegian Air Force. And we have been working with the Polar Institute uh, since 2011. And, uh, in 2012, we started uh, uh, with the regular flights into the Troll base with civilian operators. Uh, and since then, we have on a yearly basis done uh, five to ten flights with uh, different uh, types of aircrafts. A couple of them is, of course, that uh, you have the Dreamliner, which is uh, very sufficient for uh, doing such a flight. Uh, enormous cargo capacity, which is a bit new for us. Another key uh, factor for us in this process has been to uh, involve the country's civil aviation authorities, because this is uh, it's not a standard operation we're doing. So having the backing and the security aspects with the uh, CAA in, uh, improvements is also a key factor to build up the quality of the whole operation uh, for such uh, distant uh, location. Charlie 1. Yeah. Right side, left side clear. Right side clear. That is bang on the hour, boys. Six three one to the right. Um, short November. Ground one two one small six zero five. A long ship seven eight seven. I take it you need uh, full runway right. Hey, yeah. long ship seven eight seven. Long ship seven eight seven. And cross the runway zero one left. Charlie one Alpha five and all short November. Cross runway zero one left. Charlie one. Clear takeoff, thermal off, Canadian, Traffic along fine left side here. Okay. We thank you for your attention and wish you all a pleasant flight with the North Atlantic. Tower Nordic 60 Victor Go at Intac Establish Island 01 left. Nordic 60 Victor Tower Hello, can't any pressure. Can't any pressure, Nordic 60 Victor. Set to take up trust. Frost ref. Check. Frost set. Hold. Okay. 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 Okay.
Check. 